Hey, crypto family, hope you all are doing good. So today we're gonna go over some Bitcoin analysis for October 21st, 2019. So I'm gonna explain a couple reasons why I think we're very close to continuing this bullish trend that we've had. But first I'm gonna go over some indicators and I think how they're developing and why I think that we're very close to continuing to the upside. So as you remember yesterday, I talked about the CME gap needing to be filled. Well, the CME gap went to a high of 81.30 and then the next gap went to a low of 81.60. Now, we, I mentioned that this gap needs to be filled, and it filled a little bit today when it went down to 81.60, but we still need to fill that 81.30 to 81.60. So again, we may have another pullback to around that 81.50 level to fill that gap, but it may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen for the next couple of days, but again, those gaps usually get filled 90% of the time. It's basically um, very weak support or resistance levels. Um, it's like usually they're caused by an influx of buyers and enthusiasts, and there's not enough uh, liquidity per se to fill those gaps so there's a lot of skips in the price so that's why a lot of times they get filled because there's not a lot of support or resistance at those levels so after that looking at the first chart here so there's a couple of shorter time frames here i'm not really going to cover those time frames more so i'm going to look at covering actually the uh, 15 minute and onward so you can see right now the 15 minute we do have a buy signal that just flashed okay so some positive action for that that means we may see some bullish at bullish action for the short term now, continuing on to the hourly, the hourly, we actually got a buy seven hours ago. So that is bullish. It has not flashed a sell yet, which is good. So possibly you can see here, flash to sell, then a buy. And really this was during consolidation and it looks like we're about the same point. But again, down on the mark, market cipher uh, B, you can see there is a green dot. So possibly some bullish action from here and the Wolfpack ID indicator, it is about to cross over to the upside. So again, indicating some positive momentum. Now going forward, looking at our two hour, you can see we do have a sell signal and that has not flashed to a buy yet. So again, still temporarily bearish on the two hour because of the action we have been having. Now you can see here, the VWAP is still under the white line. So looking for that to cross over and the Wolfpack is a little bit under that white line as well. So just a little bit, it needs to cross to the upside. And I think again, some very, very bullish action here if we can get above. And actually I will change the Wolfpack indicator to change for a close for actually the buy sell. So we can see exactly what the price needs to go to to flash a buy signal. And you can see here on this green shaded area, once it passes 82.40, that's when we'll get a buy signal on the two hour. So again, looking for 82.40 um, for continued positive momentum. Now, after that, let's continue onward. So to the four hour, the four hour right now is flashing a buy. So that was from October 20th at 11 o'clock in the morning. And from there, again, we have continued to flash a buy. Now I wanna mention why this is important for now. And you can see that it does not flash a lot of buy sell signals on the settings I have. I have it more longer time frames. I have really basically more drawn out signals. So you can see it flashed a sell when we were 8,600 and now it flashed a buy when we were about 7,950. 50. So again, it takes those long time frames. So if this buys any indication of that previous sell, then we will ha have continued uptrend for here. So again, keep that in mind. But looking at the Wolfpack ID and the market cipher B, we do have a red dot and possibly crossing under. So again, we need to maintain this bullish action, maintain above 8,200 to continue that. Now moving onward to the daily chart. So the daily chart right now is flashing a sell. So we are still bearish on the daily chart. That is because we did have that huge run up to over 83.50, but since then we have continued downward. That's why it's still very bearish. But on market cipher B, we do have this green dot here that flashed not too long ago. And look, we do have green candles on the Heiken Ashi. So one thing I wanna mention for the Heiken Ashi is they do, you know, I don't wanna say predict, but they do continue to develop positive trends based on their colors. So again, we're having two green candles starting to form. If this green candle forms today, then I do see that as very bullish and possibly having a trend reversal right here. So again, that is something to keep in mind. And the Wolfpack indicator did cross over the white line. So again, looking at these indicators to stay positive for us to continue bullish. But you can see here, first to get a buy signal on the one day, we need to go up to 8706. So very, very farther um, from where we're at now. But again, we could very, very well um, go up to that level and retest the 8800 resistance that we had now looking here at um, basically the triangle drawing that I drew 
So you can see once we broke out from this triangle here, that Bitcoin went from, you know, 8,000 all the way up to that 83.49 level. Now I mentioned yesterday, this 50 day moving average on the four hour is acting as support. So as long as we hold above this 81.10, I can see us maintaining this bullish momentum, which that coincides with that gap that needs to be filled 81.30 to 81.60. So again, maintaining above 81.10, looking very bullish, really 8,100 in general. That's where a lot of resistance was. So again, resistance turns support. Now we're looking at 8,100. If we can maintain that, then one looking to stay above this 8,200, 128 day moving average, and then climbing up here to this 8,500 level where this 200 day moving average is. So again, this 8,500 is extremely, extremely hard resistance here. So we need to pass above this to then retest that 8,800 level that we got to a high in October 10th. So the RSI right now is still a little overbought, but still some room to run to the upside. But again, it may reset a little bit, again, either filling that gap or just from exhaustion. So something to keep in mind there. And just for people who don't know, this is actually a trading view and it's symbols for B BTC USD. And basically it gives you an overview of what the sentiment is. So on the daily, you can see there is still sell for the summary. Moving averages are a sell, but oscillators are a buy. So you can see it's starting to turn. But if you go to the four hour, strong buy, buy. If you go to the one hour, again, strong buy, sell for the oscillators, but summary is a buy. And then again, 15 minutes are strong buys as well as five minute and one minute. So again, only the sell is on the daily. So, you know, the shorter time frames usually predict what's going to happen on the longer time frame. So um, could be positive to move to the upside, but again, Always keep your stops in place and trade accordingly and make sure you only invest what you can afford to lose. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and you got a little clearer idea of where we're headed right now. And again, where to place your orders at or your stops if you're looking to short or buy, um, which you can also use Bybit. Um, it's used for margin trading. I actually have a link in the description and in the comments. So again, you don't have to use it if you don't want, but again, just another tool to use um, if you want to margin trade. But again, always practice safe margins. Um, never risk more than 10x. And because again, you can get liquidated very easily in this market. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't. Again, I appreciate all my viewers and subscribers. Thanks for watching. Till next time.